All right, so in this bonus section, I'm gonna show you guys how to paint foliage uh, on trees. So to start out, we have our canvas. We're gonna get a nice mid-tone gray to start with. Drop that in there. Let's make a new layer here. And this layer is going to be where we do our trunk and the ground. So for the ground, I'm just gonna go with a brown color. And I'm just gonna be using my round brush right here. And I'm just gonna brush in a nice little gray or brown patch of dirt. And then the trunk. Nothing too fancy here. Okay. And then we'll just fill that in as well. And we'll come back and we can put a little bit more detail on this later afterwards if we want to. All right. Okay, so that is our trunk to start out with. I'm gonna make a new layer on top of that. And this is going to be the basis for our tree. I'm gonna start with a pretty deep green color to start out with. And we're on that new layer up there. I'm going to bring the opacity on my brush down just a little bit. One more. Okay. And we're going to fill in the shape of this tree. Okay. And then also we're gonna grab some sort of a brush that's gonna have a little bit more texture for us. Like this burnt tree brush, ironically. And I'm just going to put that around the edges so that it has a little bit more of a breakup, makes it feel more like it has leaves. Okay. And then I'm gonna lower the opacity just a little tiny bit. All right, excellent. We're gonna make a new layer now. We're gonna bring our green a little brighter and a little bit warmer, not too much though. And let's go ahead and get our painting brush back. And we're going to make a bunch of, generally they're gonna feel kind of large leaves and from the outside they're going to kind of go outward and as we get closer to the middle they kind of will become more like circles as they face towards the viewer and have more space in between them okay so just keep that in mind go ahead and paint this you also want to think about your light direction because your light direction, once, especially once we get to up to some of the bigger layers, is going to be important. So I'm imagining the light is coming from the top right, roughly. Okay. So for example, the bottom, I'm gonna kind of thin it out a little bit, not make them so strong or often. Because I imagine that part is in a bit more shadow. Okay, perfect. And then we can get our brush here and just brush away some parts a little bit to kind of break it up some. Think about the shadows and where the light's coming from a little bit. 
All right. Excellent, and then we can adjust that however we want. We can lower the opacity or change the color, but I think it's good right where it is, so I'm actually just gonna leave it. I'm gonna make a new layer on top of that, and same thing, we're gonna go a little brighter, a little warmer. And I'm gonna bring my brush down even more this time, and we're gonna do the same thing, only much tinier. On this one, we're really gonna be focusing on the lighting uh, and where it's coming from, so. Top right, it's gonna be real strong. And then as we work our way across, a little less strong in places. side where there's less sunlight hitting it okay and just work our way across the whole image the smaller layers you go the smaller brush the longer it takes as you get more and more detailed but it's okay, take your time. There's always that temptation when you're working to, at the beginning, you know, painting looks really awesome, or your drawing looks really great, and you spend a lot of time really working the details. But then as you go on, you kind of start to get tired, or maybe you're working on a part of the painting that's not quite as exciting. And we all know that feeling where you kind of start to not put as much effort in and just kind of want to rush through it and get done with it because it's either not fun to work on or you kind of just had it with that piece and you're done. And so you start to just kind of cheat some things that maybe you should spend a little bit more time on. Well, don't do that. Fight it. Because that's one of the big things that sets apart an amateur from a professional is that they're able to push through that and really take the time to render the whole thing and make it look nice. Okay. Depending on where you put the most is where it's going to imply the overall shape of it as well. So keep that in mind as you're as you're working on it. Okay, almost finished here. Working our way down. All right, perfect. And then once again, if we'd like, we can take our, our brush and just knock back any spots that are too strong or too bright. Perfect. And then we're gonna do one more layer of this, getting even brighter, even more yellow, and even smaller brush. But this time, instead of going over the whole thing, let's bring it up even more, actually. We're just gonna be hitting a few key spots, make our brush a little bigger, where we want the light to be showing up the most. Alright, and then once again we can go ahead and just brush back a few spots there. Excellent. Now what we're going to do, um, let's actually do one more layer and this one is going to be kind of like uh, some flowers, some little white, almost pink flowers, and we're just going to intersperse these throughout the tree a little bit. And then once 
once we put some of those in there. We can go ahead and if we want to alter that, like maybe we want to change the color. Kind of like the blue actually. So we're going to go with that. Then I'm going to go ahead and just merge all of these. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to darken up the base layer here. There we go. Excellent. Then I'm going to merge all these together into one layer, except for the trunk and the ground. And then I'm going to get my warp tool, or my liquify tool, I mean. I'm going to use the push feature. And uh, I just want to kind of resize this, shape it up a little bit, uh, bring out the edges some. Um, Then what we're going to do, we're going to come back to our tree layer. Now that we know what direction our lighting is sort of coming from, we can go ahead and light the base of the tree as well. And I'm just going to stick with that round brush and really just hit up the side here that's most facing the light. And then we'll have that sort of fade away as it reaches the, uh, the top there where it's in shadow. And then we'll do a little bit of shadow for the tree where we bring it a little cooler, a little darker there. And then for the ground, we're going to color pick that. That's going to get a little cooler and a little darker. Okay. And then we're going to take a little bit of this uh, ground color actually and have that reflect up into the leaves some. So we're going to keep it really subtle but right here along the bottom edge especially we're going to paint in a little bit of that ground color. So sort of the reflected light as it kind of bounces back up into the bottom foliage of the trees here. on that some. Perfect. And then there we go. If you want to, you could add a little bit of grass down there uh, at the bottom for the tree, for the leaves and stuff. It's up to you. But yeah, for the most part, that's it. There we go. We have our tree and I mean, you can do as many layers as you want and keep going to make it more detailed. You could use more textured brushes if you'd like, but that is my process for creating trees. And then if you even wanted to, uh, let's say you wanted to make the lighting a little bit more dynamic, you could even have a secondary light source. Oh, we already made a new layer. Coming from the other side. lighting up the tree from the back and then do the same thing with putting lights all along this side And then if we turn
turn the background a little darker, you can see it a little better. So let's do that. There we go. That gives us a tree with some pretty cool lighting that's kind of coming from both directions there. Make it a little bit more visually interesting. There you go. That uh, would be my process for going about painting a tree. Um, I'm just going to select all of these and move them down so I can center it a little better. Oops, looks like we accidentally painted on that layer there. We can go ahead and clean it up. Resize it out a little bit. And there we go. That's our tree. So, hope you enjoyed this bonus section. I'll see you guys in the next lecture.